Hi guys, it's Adam here today from Web Starts, and today I want to talk to you about eight ways that I help stay motivated. I want to pass them on to you. You know, one of my ideas in life is that there are no lazy people, just people that don't quite see their goals as being close enough to obtain or exciting enough for them to obtain. So here are eight tips that I use to help stay motivated, and hopefully you'll find them valuable as well. Number one, clearly define and meditate on your goals. You can't hit something if you don't know what you're shooting for. So it's really important that you take the time, write down your goals, and uh, really try to detail them out as, as uh, thoroughly as possible. You know, everywhere you look, there should be reminders of those things. So you should have photos or posters or, you know, whatever it is that remind you of your goals. So if you set out and you want to get a boat, have a picture of a boat on your desk. If you want more time for your family, put a photo of your family on your desk and think about how it's going to feel once you you get that extra time once you achieve your goals so number two reward and congratulate yourself when you make some achievements along the way so when you set those big goals set smaller goals or milestones that when you accomplish or you get up out of bed and you get through something that you give yourself a reward uh, a smaller reward to help provide good psychological reinforcement number three surround yourself with the evidence of past successes so Think of this like a trophy case. You want to put into your trophy case anything that's a reminder of some obstacle that you accomplished in the past. A few years ago, I ran a marathon. It's something I always wanted to do my whole life. And I hold on to the little trophy as a reminder that I can really do anything that I put my mind to. So number four, remind yourself how good it feels when you prove somebody wrong. You know, we all have people that are doubters and haters in our life, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I take great joy in is when somebody says, hey, you can't do this or you're not capable, and then I go out and pr prove them wrong. So I really like the feeling that gives me when I accomplish something that people say cannot be accomplished. So that can help to be something to motivate you as well. Number five, visualize your success. You really need to picture what it will look like and how it will feel to have the success that you're shooting for. Once you get to the top of that mountain in your life, whatever it is, whether it's getting through building a website with web starts, or maybe it's hitting a certain sales goal, or uh, whatever it is, really visualize how it will feel once you achieve that and what it, you will look like uh, upon achieving that goal. Number six, learn to enjoy the pain of accomplishment. That's been one of the biggest benefits to me is that over the years I realized that there is no real way to get around pain and sacrifice when you're trying to achieve your goals. What you want to do is learn how to enjoy that journey towards accomplishing your goals, no matter how painful it may be. So if uh, you're, you set out to, let's say, get in great shape, you know, learn how to, to actually love to, to work out, even though it's work and it hurts. And you probably heard the saying, no pain, no gain. Uh, it means that you're making progress so you can actually teach yourself to change your perception and enjoy that. So number seven is to keep score, keep logs, keep track of your progress. So just like earlier I said set a big goal and then you set some milestones along the way. Uh, keep track how you know how how good were your your sales how many site visitors did you have last week versus this week you know pit your past successes against uh, future successes always trying to build on uh, what you've done right uh, so it's very important that you keep track people that keep track often are a lot more motivated to push through and go the extra mile number eight have a system of accountability surround yourself with people that uh, have expectations in you that you can't let down. Nobody wants to be that guy that lets everybody down or that gal that lets everybody down. And so it actually helps to have people that have expectations out of you. And to throw in a bonus one, I would say number nine is to have fun. Don't sweat the small stuff. Remember, it's all small stuff. Life is short and there is no mistake that's too big. There's nothing too insurmountable that you can't recover from in business or, or in, in your goal setting. So just go out there and if you fall on your face, then you know what, just get up, try again, laugh it off, make a joke out of it, whatever. You know, don't don't try to put so or don't try to have so much pride, but just um, you know, take it easy and realize that that uh, you can learn a little bit from every single failure that you have in life or every time that you you don't achieve a goal. So that's it. I hope that helps you stay motivated. And if you're looking to start a, an online business or get your business online, please check out webstarts.com and subscribe to this video by uh, clicking the, the little annotation link uh, that appears on your screen to see more videos like this.